Okay. Um, I don't even know if I got the name right. I was talking to Vlad offline. And he said that um he was at an event that you was at. You and Sticky. Something what is it called the the giving them their flowers event? Oh, the roses, yeah. Vlad came through, no doubt. It was Vlad called came. um giving this 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 very, very um very nice girl from LA named Penny Lane. She came up with the idea with um Edie I mean from Outlaws. Mm-hmm. And Edie Amin had the first roses. They gave him his roses. He was on a cruise ship. Um, was, you know, everybody was, because he's been in the game for a minute too. You know, Edie Amin running with Pac and, you know, gave him his flowers, gave him his roses. So ours was the second one. You know, um, we did it at a spot called Project Projects um, Space LA. Um, nice event. And we basically, everybody who came gave us our flowers while we still here. Because a lot of time you get your flowers when you're gone. So she put the event together. It was dope. You know what I'm saying? A lot of street vendors came out. Um, and a lot of real close friends came out. And we just had a real good time. Smoked a lot of good weed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah, Vlad came through. I was surprised Vlad came through. And you know who else came through? Gangsta Boo was there. Yep. He told me. And that's the first time I met her. And she oh, was... Word? Uh, she was just so nice, man. She was just like, yo, I never met you. And I used to see you on Moesha. And we had a great time, man. It was just like, and that's the first time I met her. And then we became good friends, you know, on you know Instagram. What up, what up, my all that. And then, um, yeah, that was right before she passed, man. So that night, special night. Because that's the, the, the first time I met Gangsta Boo. Did you get any pictures with her? Um, yeah, I think so. I think we got like a little video um, pictures. I think her husband Emmett got the pictures. Actually, yeah. Yeah, I hope y'all took some with her. Yeah, and man, that was crazy that was thing. that was. She was so nice and just. She was a gangster. She was a gangster boo. And I was like, yeah, I was at the um, I was at the verses. She was like, oh, you saw it. I was like, yeah, I seen you. <laughs> I saw you talking that talk. You know, we had a, we had a good time, man. It was, you know, let her rest in peace, bro. Yeah, I mean, we losing way too many of these rappers, man, way too young. Yeah, man, it's like, people got to know, you can't take nothing no more, man. You you can't even take anything no more. These drugs is cut with this fentanyl shit, man. I seen so many brothers just, just, just gone, man, like gone over some, over some shit. Like when we came up, we was doing hard drugs. It was good. Like, you know, we was doing the exercise and we was doing all of that. We had a good time and it was good. Now it's different, man. You can't even pop nothing, sniff nothing, smoke some weed, drink some water and chill the fuck out, man. Because this shit is just crazy, man. It's crazy out here. So many rappers, so many actors, so many people who have so much more to give in life just dying over some fentanyl shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just not worth it. It's not yeah. worth it. It's not fucking worth it. Yeah, I mean, um, you don't even have to take a lot. Like, that fentanyl, you take one tab of, and, and it's a wrap. I don't want to know. It, it don't, like, I don't want to know. Like, I, I've, I've heard enough and I've seen enough. It's like, yo, you know what? Nah, can't do that. Yeah, well, I'm glad you got a chance to meet Boo while she was still here. Yeah. Very nice woman. Yeah. Uh, very nice woman. Um, yeah. Again, yeah, my heart go out to her family, man. Yo, you know what's crazy, too? Vlad told me something crazy. Is this true? He said Idi Amin was like, yo, Tupac shaved his head because he saw y'all, what y'all was doing with the shaved heads back in the days. Is that real? Probably that, and probably his hairline was receding. That nigga hairline. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no disrespect to Pac, but that nigga hairline was it. You know what I mean? You saw Juice, nigga. You know what I mean? I would have cut my shit ball too. I'm waiting for LeBron to cut his shit, man. He 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 got it. Come on, LeBron. C- come come to the come to the dark side, my nigga. Like a couple of niggas need to just let it. Snoop Dogg too. Let it go, my nigga. Come. <laughs> St- Stephen A. Smith, a lot of niggas <laughs> need to come to the dark side, man. 
It's 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 good, man. It's it's nothing wrong with the dark side, man. You know this is that pretty shit, man. Ask Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan cut his hair because of us. Huh? Michael Jordan cut his hair bald because of Onyx. Because of Onyx. Get out of here. Do the knowledge, nigga. Who okay? Did somebody tell you this or are you just assuming MJ somebody cut his I hair? know for a fact. What year did Michael Jordan cut his hair ball? I don't know, but after this interview, I'm, I'm going to do my research. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're responsible for Michael Jordan. Come on, son. The whole Fat Five, Jalen Rose, all them niggas, Weber, all them niggas, they cut their hair ball because of us. That might be true. Jaden I Kiss. think Jordan cut his in the 80s, though. I don't know about Y'all that. Y'all wasn't even out at that time. <laughs> like, you reach you reach back in time. I don't know about that. Nah. Because that nigga Jordan had a fro for a long time. It, it, until, until the late 80s. You sure? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, you, might, you might need some royalties from Jalen and... and uh, Weber and all the rest of them. <laughs> Tupac might, he might somewhere need to send you a royalty check, but I don't know about George. But not, my, not MJ, huh? Okay. Nah, all not right. MJ. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, speaking of rapping, take it too soon. Take off. Mm. You know. Damn, that shit that was one fucked. hurt. That shit was fucked up, bro. Cause he ain't have nothing to do with it. He ain't have no problem with nobody. He was just minding his business for what, I, for what I'm hearing. It's just like he just got caught wrong place, wrong time, man. That shit's fucked up. And what's more fucked up is that the nigga Quavo had the argument. You know what I'm saying? That kind of triggered the whole shit. Yeah. So yeah. you know, just the, the whole shit was, but it, from what I from what I've seen, it didn't look like it needed to escalate that far. Niggas was just talking and talking and talking. But you know, this gunplay shit is crazy, man. And believe me, whoever shot him didn't mean to shoot him. It was some reckless bullshit that happened. Like, like these niggas got guns and don't even know how to aim or shoot the shit. Like niggas don't even know how to shoot. Niggas get a gun and just. It just want to catch a body. Never went to the gun range. Never shot a can. Nothing like niggas don't even niggas don't even know how to use the shit and use it. And a baby gets killed or you know, old lady gets shot. Takeoff got shot. It was by accident. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like an accident. It's just fucked up. You know? They got somebody locked up for it. He bailed out. You know. And and he Yo, seemed you, he seemed like a good dude too, man. He seemed like a nice nice kid, man. Nah, out of all of them, he was the most reserved, quiet one. Like nice kid, man. You know, and it's just it's just sad, man. You know, it's sad, man. I heard. I think I just read today that Qua, Quavo is gonna do something for the at the Grammys for him. I want to I want to see that. You know what I mean? I want to see that because. That, that, that shouldn't have happened. 